Uh, guys, we have another comedian for you. Her name is very, very hard to pronounce. Right. So when I attempt it, I want you to all go absolutely wild. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for... <laughs> for Melina Timbalexi! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give one more. It was correct. <laughs> one more clapping. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are we doing? Good? Yeah. Uh, I'm Melina. I live here in Barcelona with my partner. I am Greek. He's Argentinian, aka we barely can pay the rent. <laughs> yeah. We are, we are many years together now. We are in a, in a long-term relationship, so you know what that means. I'm not having sex tonight. <laughs> uh, no, we tried, many, we tried many things. We tried role-playing. Um, and there was a huge problem there. Um, I'm a feminist. And the world isn't. <laughs> Let me explain. So we tried to play this game. We started with this game that you pretend to be strangers, you go in a bar, you meet for the first time, you go back home, you fuck like it's the first time. Yeah. So I went to the bar. First of all, I hate talking to strange men. <laughs> but there he is, you know? He sends over a drink, and all I'm thinking is, how the fuck men have all this confidence? <laughs> you know, for them, lonely woman in a bar equals she wants to have sex with me. Well, that was the case. <laughs> But I got angry, you know, I got angry. So I left the bar, I called my best friend on the way home, you know, in case he was following me. <laughs> he was following me. <laughs> so I called the police. <laughs> he didn't really like that. Um, okay, then we played this game that, um, you know, the boss and the worker. And so he was a boss and I was a worker. So, you know, I entered his office, sat on the desk, I touched with his hand. I didn't ask for a raise. I asked for equal payment with my male co-workers. He said something like that wouldn't be real enough. <laughs> yeah, we were fighting for a week. Um, but then we said, OK, 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 I will be the boss, and he will be the worker. He was still learning more than me. <laughs> so fuck this. We, we went for the, um, for the nurse and the patient. And of course, I wanted to break stereotypes. I wanted to be the doctor. So I left him there waiting for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> then I entered, I asked for 50 euros, and I left. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, that's, that's not OK. <laughs> that's not OK. I shouldn't ask money like this from my partner. Um, so OK, without money being involved, I was like, I can be a doctor in the public healthcare system. Um, so now we have an appointment in six months. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's see how this will go. <laughs> um, I have many issues with this society. Uh, this society is slut shaming women so much. And uh, as a sci I am a scientist. I really am a scientist. Uh, I know it doesn't show, because I can actually talk to people. Uh, <laughs> but I am. I am a scientist. And as a scientist, I would really love today to prove to you scientifically that being a slut is actually a beneficial thing to be. Yeah? <laughs> Great. OK. Let's go together to really primitive societies. What do we know as the first thing they would do if there was a disaster in the village? They would sacrifice a virgin. <laughs> if I was living on that time and I see my best friend being thrown to a volcano for not sucking a dick, <laughs> I would be deep throating the chief of the tribe in the next 10 milliseconds. <laughs> I will be gang banging with the entire tribe around the volcano they threw my friend in. <laughs> we see a tornado coming to the village. Everyone is looking for a place to hide. I'm looking for a dick to sit. <laughs> <laughs> and then I imagine all the other women in the village doing the same thing. <laughs> no? Like musical chairs. <laughs> but with dicks. <laughs> And you know, just to make sure, I would be even fucking guys from the nearby villages. You know, just in case they come to our village to kidnap virgins. They would pass by my tent, they would be like, her, super puta. <laughs> <laughs> but I would survive, right? I would survive. So as a result, virgins were sacrificed, and slutiness as a trait got preserved. And through Darwinian natural selection, Cross two generations to make us all the proud 
that's not we are today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Melina!